Alright. So, the first question I'm going to get this open is How did it feel when you found out that Usher wanted to sign you from Becca? Alright, so, when I found out Usher wanted to sign me, I was very ecstatic and um, I immediately wanted to sign with him, but also another person wanted to sign me, um, Justin Timberlake. So it's kind of Justin Timberlake and Usher were going back and forth. And uh, the offer turned out better with Usher, so we went with Usher. Did you feel torn? Did you feel torn between the two? Could you not decide who you wanted to go with more? Or was there one oh. that you loved more out of the two? No, I actually, I liked both of their music and um, it was basically, I mean, it was basically down to the, to the, to the deal. Cool. Okay. Next question. All right. Next question. What would your dream girl be like? From Amy B. My dream girl um, would be like um, definitely have pretty eyes and I smile and a girl that that's funny because I really like to laugh. Okay. And this next question is from. Um, it's from London Stardom. It is, how are all your friends towards you now that you're famous? Are any of them jealous from London? Okay, so, basically, um, my true friends are definitely not jealous. They're very supportive and stuff, but my, um, I mean, people that, that live in, where I live and stuff, there, there's definitely, definitely where some jealousy, but okay. my true friends will always be my real friends. Do you kind of still hang out with all your true friends now yes, and everything? Yes, of course. Is there anything that you love doing when you're not having to stay in your performance? Oh, I love, to, I love to hang out with my friends. I love to go to movies and just be a regular kid. Okay, next question. Okay, this next question is, was it hard performing in Manchester with a broken foot? I was there from Bethany. It was definitely hard to perform on a broken foot. Um, it was... Uh, it was actually the first day coming back from a broken foot, so it was definitely hard, but I struggled through it and made me a stronger person. Do you like the English accent and have you picked up and have you picked any up yet from MZB Bex? I uh a little bit. I, I, I can I can do the accent a little bit, but I'm not I'm not I'm not terrible, but I'm not great. That's all right. A little bit Australian, but it sounded cute. Okay. I liked it. I liked okay. it. She liked it. <laughs> Australian. Can you do an Australian accent? I don't know. It'd probably be similar to my <laughs> English accent. Hey Justin, if you could have anything in the world right now, what would it be and why? From Ms. Muffet. That's a big question. Um, if I could have anything in the world right now, what would it be? I would have... Oh, that is a big question. I'm going to have to sit on that one. Ooh. I'm going to have to wait on that one. Right, he'll answer a few more questions, and then hopefully by the end of that, he'll have the, the big answer. Yes. What is your most favorite song on your album? My favorite song on my album. Hers is One Less Lonely Girl from Ikra. Which I was watching today on YouTube and loved. You loved it? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so this, my favorite song is probably Down to Earth because it's like a song that means a lot to me and I co-wrote it. So. Okay, why does it mean so much to you? Um, because I was able to co-write co it and, and it's kind of like about my, my life. Okay. Um, what has been the most amazing moment of your career from S, S, I don't know what. Hold up, let me see if I can read it out. From, S it looks like S Mems, M Sems, M Sems, from M Sems. That's a funny name, but it's cool. <laughs> Just so you know, they're nicknames. They haven't all got these crazy names. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Someone's got walking around with the name Ms. Muffet. Okay. <laughs> most amazing name, uh, my, my, um, my, Probably being able to perform for the President of the United States was a big, uh, probably one of the most amazing moments. That's massive. Yeah. Were you scared? Um, no, I wasn't really scared. I was nervous, but I wasn't really scared. Did you get to meet him? Yes. <gasps> Did you shake his hand? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that's fine. Did you faint? No. I think I would have. <laughs> I think I would have fainted. Okay. Next question. 
Alright, this next question. If you could do a duet with anyone, who would it be? From Minnie Kylie. I would do a duet with Beyonce because she's super hot and she's an amazing singer. Did you get to meet? Have you met Beyonce? Yes, I met her at the VMAs. Did you shake her hand? Yes. Did you faint then? No. You're a tough cookie. Hey, I've got two questions. Do you write all of your own songs, and what's the idea of the perfect first date from Lottie? Okay, and I don't write all my songs. I have uh, someone that helps me and, and co-write with me, but I do write a lot of my own stuff, uh, as well as, um, uh, what was that other question? Um, the other question was your idea of a perfect date. Perfect first date. Um, probably going out to a nice steak dinner. Steak dinner with Beyonce. Yeah, with Beyonce. <laughs> and obviously the one from Ms. Muffet. Yes, from if Ms. You Muffet. Have anything in the world. Anything in the world. I would have. Um. A nap. A nap. <laughs> Fair dues. He's gone to sleep now. So we're going to leave him to rest, Bliss Readers. We're going to leave him to have a little nap. Night-night, Justin.